This is, this is another testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. Um, we are back with a fun show today. You're Dennis Ugas, the fighting champ, the people's champ. Um, is standing up to the WBA, uh, and I give him full respect. But before we get into that, please like and subscribe, share on all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Uh, quick Hits comes at you twice a day, every day. Also, please subscribe to the other channel. Um, Texas Boxing Scene, completely dedicated to Texas Boxing. Um, all proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. Um, so please like, uh, please subscribe to that channel as well. That's near and dear to our heart. All right. Thank you. All right. Let's get into it. Um, okay. So Ugas, we all know his career, left for dead at 140, comes back at 147, wins a bunch of fights, beats Manny Pacquiao. This guy is my new hero. He wants to go right into a three belt unification fight with um, Errol Spence, and but what he understood was that he was gonna. He talked to WBA. Um, he talked to Gilberto Mendoza. They were gonna go straight into it. They were gonna go into a unification fight with with Spence. No huffs. You know, no problems. Let's get right into it. Then the WBA makes this eliminator, and he has to fight Stenyones. He doesn't want to fight Spence. He wants to fight Spence because he's a fighting champ. WBA says they'll have a meeting on it. They have a, a conference on it, a meeting on it, whatever. They come out and say, no, you have to fight Stan Jonas. Um, Ugas is none too happy about it. Uh, and I will, <laughs> I'll, I'll read what he says. Um, I came to Columbia to, with, with WBA to sit face to face, and my message never. Uh, Responded, I just paid tens of thousands of dollars in penalties for my fight that the WBA ch uh, charges. It's amazing that the WBA treats such a such a champion. Uh, we will await the decision tomorrow and be ready for the next steps. I will definitely be willing to fight. Thanks, he added. Okay, um, this is from a, a World Boxing News article. So he went to the um, WBA. The WBA told him that he has to fight San Yones instead of the fight where he thought he, he, he they had already agreed to and he was going to fight Spence. Not going to happen now. Look, I get it. The WBA <laughs> is not a model organization. They got their own issues. Um, you know, sanctioning bodies, uh, the other sanctioning bodies, the commissions, they're, they're all starting to look at them with the super champ and the regular champ and the interim champ, and it's not a good look. And they're trying to clean it up. What doesn't make sense is that you had Ugas and Pacquiao. Um, Ugas was the world champ, and, and, and Pacquiao was the regular champ. No, I had that back. Pacquiao was the, I'm sorry, Pacquiao was the super champ. Um, Ugas was the regular champ. Pacquiao took two years off. They moved, they, they upgraded Ugas, and now Ugas, then Ugas beats Pacquiao, and now they want to say that Ugas isn't the super champ. I mean, none of this really makes sense. Not only did he beat Pacquiao, right, the guy who had the super championship belt, uh, but they also upgraded him before that. So none of this makes any sense of what they're doing to Ugas. They don't seem to like Ugas. I'm not really sure why, uh, but I want to read something that Ugas said that um, stuck with me. That, 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 you know, I, <laughs> um, this is something he tweeted the other day, yesterday. I'm a public enemy of the dictatorship of my own country. I was able to shut up and not have problems, but I decided to to raise my voice for Cubans. Consequently, I cannot enter the country where I was born, and my entire family still lives there. I am not afraid to claim my rights. Um, this is a guy who, because he's willing to stand up for his rights, isn't allowed into his birth country. He isn't allowed in the country where his mom and dad and you know his entire family lives. I don't think he's going to back down from Gilberto Mendoza. I don't think he's going to back down from the WBA. I think he's going to fight this. Um, again, I, I don't know if he was told. I don't know 
the legalities of what he was told, if he can go right into the fight, if he has, uh, I don't know. What I do know is Ugas doesn't strike me as the guy, as a guy who's going to back down. The guy's not allowed in the country where he was born because he's standing up for himself. I think he's going to stand up for himself. He's obviously got the fighting spirit. I mean, Ugas at 140 was left for dead. Uh, when he came back to 147, and I'm not trying to pat myself on the, on the back here, I was really the only person who, 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 who looked at him. I remember I told Matt Hunter a couple of years ago, he beat, he beat Danny Garcia. Yeah, Ugas is good. Ugas is good. You know, and then he lost to Sean Porter very controversially. Uh, but he had wins over – he had a bunch of good wins. Um, Jamal James, Brian Perella, uh, Thomas DeLorme, Ray Robinson, he, he, a bunch of good wins. Then he got the fight with Porter. Lost controversy in the fight. A lot of people thought he won. Came back, destroys Omar Figueroa, stops Mike Dallas Jr., uh, beats Abel Ramos. I mean, he's just gathering, gathering, and gathering names. And then beats Manny Pacquiao. Okay? I mean, he jumped through every single hoop you could put him through. Now the WBA wanted to do this. Just let him fight Spence. I don't think he's going to beat Spence. But everyone else has written him off all along. I'm the only one. I'm not trying to put myself on the back who saw Ugas kind of rejuvenate his career at 147. Look, he's a fighting champ. He wants to fight Spence. He wants to fight the best guys in the weight class. Why are they doing this to him? To fight Stan Yonis? Explain that to me. Why Stan Yonis? It doesn't make a whole lot of sense. you got a guy who wants to unify, who wants to fight. They both are on the PBC table. They can negotiate this. They can make this. Why now is the WBC standing in his way when Ugas has done everything you've asked him? He was the regular champ. He got upgraded. He fought the other super champ. You're the guy that <laughs> you, you demoted, let's say, Pacquiao, right? And beat him on short notice. And now you want to do this to him? I don't understand. The, I, they have an agenda against Ugas. And you pick the battle with the wrong guy because Ugas ain't going to step down. I can promise you that. Um, Ugas, I, I don't know where he stands. I don't know if he has to fight Stan Jones. I don't know. Uh, contractually, legally, I don't know what he has to do. Um, but he's going to fight this tooth and that. If he thinks he was wronged, if he thinks he was promised that Spence fight, this is going to get ugly. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, please like and subscribe, share on all forms of social media. And a quick hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day, to keep you up to date on the latest and greatest boxing news and rumors. Um, it is October 19th, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's get the Iron Boy in. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.